Hello and good morning. Uh, you see from the sunrise behind us, it's uh, the crack of dawn out there and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Slightly breezy, so hopefully it's not gonna be too windy on the camera, uh, but I will do my best to try and limit that. Uh, today I'm back to my roots, going back to the Sib, and we are heading out uh, just two or three miles, so not far, too far from the shore, but uh, where we know there's gonna be some uh, a lot of bass at the moment and hopefully some cod and a few other bits and pieces so you never know what you're going to turn up as you've probably seen before i've been dying for a cod all year haven't caught one yet everyone else seems to have caught one but me so it has been slightly frustrating but i'm going to do my very best today to uh, get one so i'll have a chat to you when i'm out there but we'll see how it goes right it's pretty choppy out here um we've literally only just launched from the beach and that was a hell of a launch uh, a bit steeper and there's a few waves crashing over so the boat is probably full of water right now and very heavy so rather not ideal um, Paulius is still struggling to get out so yeah but further out we're right this is going to be a really quite a choppy ride out actually so anyway I'm just going to go and see how Paulius is and then see if we can get out there so we'll catch you in a bit to get to is and we're fishing this area it's, it's a deep hole it goes down to about 30 meters it's about a kilometer wide actually no half a kilometer wide and it's got really steep sides so it comes up to about 15 meters either side um, and then it's got a few ledges either around it so this is a really really great place in the winter for cod and bass and normally about this time of the year um, we have a lot of big bass here but we also have uh, some really good cod coming in as well Everything is a little bit late this year, so it's a little bit tricky to say what's here. But I did come out the other day and we were catching lots of cotton bass. So yeah, it's looking promising. The weather's looking promising today. There's a few birds out here already. And uh, the sky's looking interesting, so we're just going to have to keep an eye on the weather today. They are forecasting up to a four, and we're already in swells around us for about a metre and a half, maybe two metres. So we just need to go a little bit careful. And if it gets worse, we might have to end the day early. Um, Launching was difficult and we don't want to get back in or we'll struggle to get back in anyway. So we'll see how it goes, but let's uh, do our best and catch a few fish. So the first thing we're going to use <coughs> is a running ledger. But what I found the other day is these lovely white um, sidewinders were doing the absolute business and these ones were devastating for cod. So, yeah, we're gonna give this a go today. We'll start with the white one on a long flowing trace. There's not a strong tide at the moment, so something like this, just with a little locked in lead, should do fine just to get it down there. But we'll see how it goes. If, if it's too bad, I'll put a heavier one on. I don't know if you'll struggle to hear me, but I'll try and speak really loudly and I'll cut down the background noise later. Um, right. right, so I'll start off with my pen squadron. It's got a heavy duty leader on this one. <clears throat> Perfect for this kind of setup. And the reel gives you a nice amount of control which is exactly what I want. All right, okay. 
let's just have a quick look at where we are. Just see if I need to reposition myself. Okay, so we're already drifting off the ledge already. Uh, so let's just go back out and onto it a bit. In fact, the wind is pushing us on. So, yeah. A lot of chop on the water. So a little bit careful today. Sometimes you just come out and the conditions are just not ideal. Um, and you have to know that it's okay to turn back. You, know? you can always go fishing another day. out. But yeah, looking ahead of me, uh, I know you can't see on the camera if you're right now, but there's a lot of white horses out there. And a bit of a swell. Right, so I'm starting to see some bait fish on here now. Yeah. A small bowl of bait fish. It could be isolated one or two bass. Cod are going to be right tight to the bottom. I say anything more than four clicks is, is too much. Or any more than four reels up at the bottom is too much. Um, and if you do any more, well, I mean, the bass will be about 10, 15 reels up at the bottom quite easily. So we might as well the cod right at the bottom here. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything in the fish finder yet. Nothing. Baby. And we are right in the middle of snack tide at the moment. I mean, let's move forward back into the, the ledge a little bit more. So the next thing is use a slightly heavier weight. Check if you have one of these on board inflatable, as soon as you use it, put it straight back in the holder, back in your bag. Do not risk leaving it loose, ever. Otherwise you might be swimming to shore. Right, okay, like, here we go. A nice little squid wrap. Exposed on the bottom, fed through, whole squid wrapped up.
is forecast sun. And that's definitely not sun. I know there are squid down there. So, in fact, let's just check the weather very quickly. I can't check the weather, there's no reception. Rain. Sibbing in tricky conditions. Always keep an eye on your, your friends. You need to know where they are. I'm going to try and move to another area now. Um, the swells around here have really picked up. Look quite nasty. We're not getting any bites, so we're going to try a bit further across. But yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, the conditions that we're facing to try and get back in visibility is uh, pretty bad but yeah we're all good all this is over there just have to go a little bit slow because we're starting to ride the crest of the waves now coming in The wave height. This is uh, they are pretty bad. The one thing I can say about this this Excel Sib Vanguard far outperforms me. Uh, it's probably the best, most solid Sib out there, in my opinion. Um, handle everything we've thrown at it today, it's just been amazing. Um, but the conditions are awful. Yeah, let's get back in safely, shall we?
Right, so we're not far from the shore now. Um, I have no idea how we're going to get these boats on the shore because it's really, really choppy close in. But yeah, it's not going to be easy. So I think the plan is we're going to probably have to lift the engine beforehand, let it glide in without the wheels and then just beach it as it is. And then just de-kit it. And if I can put the wheels back on, the engine back on, I will. I'm gonna beach mine. I'm gonna beach mine, and then I'll come out and get yours, so we can get your son in. Your wheels are not working. Maybe put your wheels down now. 